Love never dies of starvation, but often of indigestion. Someone who is in love can be swayed easily, is emotionally sensitive, and can be easily deceived. Talk to a person about themselves and they would listen for hours. What people lack in life is not more reality but illusion, fantasy, play. Arm yourself with the weapons of charm and persuasion so that those around you will gradually become unable to resist you without understanding how or why they have succumbed to it. Do not make the mistake of settling for the first person who shows interest in you out of insecurity. This is not seduction, but rather a sign of low self-esteem. If you give in to this urge, the connection between you may quickly lose its spark. Skilled seducers do not choose their partners based on how easy they are to catch. They prefer the excitement of the chase, the challenge of a difficult conquest. The more intense and challenging the pursuit, the more satisfying the victory. The strongest attraction is often towards individuals who possess qualities we wish we had ourselves. Those who believe that you possess something they lack are ideal targets and will be easily influenced by your offer to provide it for them. Spending time with your targets can help build comfort and trust, leading them to believe that you are genuinely interested in their thoughts and company. This can reduce any usual tension that exists between genders, making them more open and vulnerable to friendship with you. By opening up to you, they have also opened the golden gate to their minds which can be seen as a valuable and significant opportunity. By avoiding the topic of love, you are implying its absence, which will speak volumes to your targets. They will begin to question why you never bring up your emotions and this will prompt them to speculate about what else is on your mind. As a result, they will be the ones to initiate conversations about love or affection. Concealing one's motives is not just a requirement, but it also enhanced the enjoyment of the game. A man should refrain from expressing his emotions, especially in the beginning, as it can be annoying and arouse distrust. A woman is much more likely to believe that she is loved by what she intuits than by what she is told. Frequently, a person's eagerness to declare their emotions stems from a misguided desire to impress the other person, thinking that it will flatter them. People who are outwardly distant or shy are often better targets than extroverts. They crave to be approached and brought out of their shell. We are drawn to individuals who are desired by others, and we long to claim them as our own and steal them from others. The perception that you are coveted by others can enhance your appeal more than your physical attractiveness. To create this illusion, you can establish a triangle by introducing another person between yourself and your target, and subtly conveying to your target how much this third person desires you. You don't have to limit this triangle to one person. Instead, surround yourself with admirers to cultivate an aura of desirability. By making your targets compete with your past and present partners, they will yearn to have you exclusively, granting you considerable power as long as you evade their grasp. A person will desire any object so long as he is convinced that it is desired by another person whom he admires. It takes too much effort to alleviate our own boredom or feelings of inadequacy, and it is much simpler and more thrilling to have someone else do it for us. The longing for someone to fill the void within us is the vulnerability that all seducers exploit. Make the masses uncertain about their identity, and you can help define it for them. It is advisable not to speak directly about your love for someone during the process of seduction. Instead, allow your actions and demeanor to communicate your feelings. By remaining silent on the matter, you will have more suggestive power than if you had spoken directly about it. Among all seduction tactics, Entering someone's spirit is considered the most cunning one. It makes the target feel like they are the ones seducing you. By mimicking them, empathizing with them, and entering their world, you seem to be under their spell, making them feel safe and unguarded. Your attention to their every word and gesture strokes their ego, 
making them vulnerable to your influence. Gradually, you will start to lead the seduction dance and they will follow, without realizing the power dynamic has shifted. Ultimately, the goal is for them to enter your world, succumbing to your charm and persuasion. To make people more receptive and less stubborn, the key is to enter their mindset or way of thinking. To mirror or imitate someone is to pay them complete attention, and this pleases them. They feel flattered as you have singled them out, making them the center of your world. They believe that their emotions, likes and dislikes, and personality are all that matters to you. The more attention you give them, the more they are charmed by you, and the greater the impact on their self-esteem, which can be exhilarating. The person who is being seduced desires to be guided, to be taken on a journey like a child. If you are too predictable, the magic of the seduction will fade away, because daily life is already predictable. 